Yeah, actually, so if we go out, say, hey, dude, come here. There we go. Okay, so let's go up here. We don't even have to jump. We can just casually walk up. He won't be able to get up. And he's a running zombie. He's a feral zombie. So even Behemoth will not be able to get up here. Hey guys, welcome back to more Darkness Falls in 7 Days to Die. I'm just digging myself a little hole here just for no reason. No, I'm gonna gather some resources because we're gonna complete the quests today as far as we can. That's one of the things we're gonna do while we actually focus on building our loot base, which is somewhere here behind me, somewhere over there, you can barely see it. So, um, one of the things that happened as I was gathering resources just now is that we completed the one of the scavenger quests. Yes, the previous scavenger quests. So it was basically collect some resources. We collected them as I was digging a tunnel and we now have to upgrade some wood frames the other one actually plays hand in hand we have to upgrade wood frames but we also have to place flagstone blocks and not upgrade them just place them and wood frames to place them as well at the same time when we completed the other quest we did get some rewards we actually got let me see here we got some trousers some denim pants okay which we can wear which are not as good as what i'm already wearing we got some shoes which we can wear and very good there we go but they're not as good as what we're wearing and we got a t-shirt we got the die and we got a mining helmet yes booyah i know it's not as good as what we have but in the end of the day it doesn't really matter so the mining helmet is let me see oh hello so the mining helmet is not as good as what i'm wearing so what we can do is we can take the mod actually out of this so if we modify this and we take the helmet out we can i think do modify this and put the light in there excellent and now we can make light that's brilliant so we don't really need the mining helmet itself and we can sell it if we want to which is absolutely fine if we make these two blocks the floor the ground floor actually that will um in the end make sure that um, the zombies on the outside will not dig into the wall they will try to get up that's the idea so we finished the scavenger five quest we are nearly finished also with the other quest here it only counts upgrading the wood frames not the actual wood block a second time but i want to have at least two levels of upgrade i know they can still drill underneath the base like if they really want to and all that jazz but Thought I heard something. Hopefully um, that will not be the case. So this is the minimum area we're gonna have as a floor and the rest we're gonna fill in as we need to. Um, I'm gonna see how much room I can actually leave because it would be really lovely if it would have like more room and this would just be stabilizer walls. That would be amazing. So do we get any reward from the quest? I don't think so. So we completed the last one, which gave us, I'm not really sure what it gave us. Let me see what's completed. Four, where's number four? Um, end of the road, blah, blah, blah. And here's four out of six. What do we get? A flashlight, a skill point, and um, nothing else and some experience. So we got, excellent, we got the flashlight and that's it. So let's see what else we got. Uh, we're gonna get, uh, what do we have to do? Gather wood 14, gather secure storage chest, play secure storage chest, gather secure wood door, play secure. We, we can do that. Actually, let's do it right now because it is the second last... Um, quest and here we go here's our chests and we're gonna place it there we go one here and one over there beautiful and now we just need a secure door excellent let's place it and we might as well destroy it straight away because we don't really need it so that's five six complete what do we get for it that's the wrong one what do we get for five six complete Two painkillers, bandage, and a skill point. Excellent. Okay, dude, you're not welcome in my home. There we go. Out. House is my house. So um, let's see what else we're going to have to do now for the next quest. 6-6. Six, six. We actually already have all that. We just have to gather some plant fiber and make a wooden club. That is actually extremely easy. So um, wooden club and some plant fiber. There we go. Done. Excellent. What do we get for it? 6-6, six, six, a bicycle. Oh, wow. You guys were saying that, that I actually get a bicycle as a reward. That is actually really amazing because if we die having one transport uh, vehicle um, in the, at the main base that we're, at, that we're staying at is always going to be very, very handy. That is awesome. I'm really liking this. So we're going to put that bicycle right in here. That is so cool. So we have a spare one which is brilliant. So let's see what we're gonna have to do for the other one still. We still have to upgrade 10 blocks, I believe. So why don't we place the 10 blocks right here and another one here, there we go. 
because we have to get two levels high and then we're gonna be able to do this excellent look at that another four to go and here we go okay so what are we gonna get what do we get for the laborer too bottled murky water bottled murky water and two large beef rations which is actually really good because we need food but we can't eat that so actually we can if we take those pills then we can actually eat that food which is amazing it's 15 max stamina and it's really good we had 131 so this one will raise our hunger again which is brilliant okay so what else did we get what else do we have to do so for the laborer class quest here gather leather 10 leather we actually have leather either in a chest here okay it must be over there or we have leather in our home base there we go excellent so we got two um first eight bandages that is pretty cool i like that look at that first eight bandages what are we gonna get for that just experience short iron pipes and duct tape i don't think i have any duct tape flying around here but the short iron pipes we sure have them and we actually have the duct tape look at that how awesome is that completing quests like that that is beautiful we just got xp what do we need now gather a forge and place a forge that is brilliant because our forge that we have we um can pick up and place down again or we could craft a new forge right here because this is basically where we're gonna have our loot and crafting this is gonna be for all intents and purposes our base for a while um but only for really um you know looting and all that so yeah that's our first main loot base and then once the whole town is looted or whatever we're going to try to progress which means we actually need to progress in this mod we have to search for other biomes which also means that we're probably gonna have to build a base in each of the biomes end of story it's just gonna be something we have to do um hopefully we can find some pois which are pretty defensible and we're just gonna have to raise the walls a bit that would be preferred but we'll see all right, I made a second forge. We're going to leave this forge here. We're going to take the other one with us. But first, we're going to place it down here. And I think then we're going to pick it back up because we want to keep it. Unless we have to use it where we can use the other one, I suppose. So we're going to pick this back up. Now, we have to gather forged iron, I believe, and a couple of other resources. So let's have a look after we pick that up. Okay, we have to gather forged iron, gather leather. We have all that. We, we have forged iron. Do we have enough, though? Um, it's over here, I believe. Forged iron. Yeah, sure, we have enough. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Exactly 30. We need five of those. There we go. Very nice. And now we have to craft a reinforced iron club. Is that something we can craft? Or is that unlocked? Is that locked? Club. Iron reinforced craft. Excellent. We already have that, but let's craft another one. That's absolutely fine. And I know you can put this in together with this one for repair, but can you also craft it actually on a table or something? And um, what is my glasses that I'm wearing? Yeah, we're gonna need to make this faster crafting from the glasses. Let's see if we have them. Oh, they're in the other, um, I think they're in the other box. Yeah, in the other inventory. So we don't actually have the faster crafting classes at all, which is a pity. So yeah, let's do that. Let's craft it here. We're just gonna have to wait the time out and let's, also craft some more oh there we go iron reinforced club it's the same one i just wanted to make sure because this one says part of the quest and i just want to make sure i didn't miss anything did i see a mod oh they're still locked okay so anyway another thing we can queue up right now is the flagstone because we get a lot more flagstone from the workbench so there we go 200 let's make 150 i think that should be enough for now and hopefully that will be enough to get actually one circuit around anyway when we get this done we get a nail gun oh my god this is gonna be so amazing we're going to finally be able to get rid of this little guy the stone hammer and just use the nail gun that is amazing and here we go bam done nice we got ourselves a nail gun oh what a beauty so let's see what else do we have I think that's it. Now, one of the things that I've seen is that it should unlock the concrete mixer. I don't know if it's immediately or the cement mixer. Is it unlocked already? No, but it says hammer and forge and concrete mix. So when sort of crafting our metal workstation, welding torch, hammer and forge, concrete mixing. But if I go to concrete mixing, it says here science crafting tool already available to the laborer class. I don't get that. 
if I go to the laborer class, um, right here, the laborer class um, for hammer and forge. Oh, okay, mixing steel is a concrete. I can craft crucible steel. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, the big forge, you can craft iron armor, and then you can craft steel crucible and concrete mixer. Oh, wow, that is amazing. So we can just put a point into this. This is so sweet. And then for advanced engineering, if we want to make a table saw, yes, we can make then the wooden um, version of the wedge tip, <laughs> Genie Mac, of the wedge tip, because for some reason on the wood frames, you can only select to put the wedge uh, block not the wedge tip block, so, which is really amazing. So and then we can get into craft workbench. Um, okay, here we craft workbench, advanced electrical components, electrical defensive plate, oh, chainsaw, shotgun turret, nail gun. That would be amazing. So we have four points left. We could spend them all in here, or we could wait until we have 10 points and then go into master builder, which unlocks titanium blocks. But we don't really have titanium resources here. We don't even know where to get them from. So I think unlocking titanium would be a bit silly right now. But for the scavenger, we have this here, which gives us better deals. Ooh, this is amazing. Wasteland treasure which uh, adds a chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment, learn how to purify pure mineral water, the tastiest. That is amazing. And Lucky Looter, of course, which it gives you better loot bonuses um, and minimizes the treasure range, which is really, really awesome. And then in the Master Scavenger, it unlocks the Desert Eagle. It increases crafting tier by 10 for the pistol and increases bonuses gained from Wasteland Treasures by 10%. The Wasteland is something we still have to find. I believe it's irradiated zone, so we have to be very careful. But we're gonna do a lot of exploring in this mod as well. It's gonna be part of this mod. We're gonna have to find the desert. We're gonna have to find the wasteland. And I don't know if the maps are built that the wasteland is always gonna be at the edge of the map. I have no idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to see. We are close to one of the edges here. We're The north should have somewhere edge, okay? This is the maximum of the map. So I think what we should do is get the bicycle at some point and then just go straight north and that's it. Just ride all the way through. Okay, I just remembered that I wanted to make the writing desk. Now the writing desk is where we can make new class things, but um, let's put it just here. There we go. And let's have a look at it. So we can make all these books in here. The future is now. We can make that book in here, which is, I think, science. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. But it could be the science mastery, potentially, because it looks like a science book. And master scientist looks like that could be it. I have no idea. Potentially, maybe technology. I don't know. Anyway, so another thing we can do, obviously, is make um, class quests which is uh, for the other quest books. This is a generic skill book here, the blank class paper. But either way, we need ink for that. We need black ink for that. So black ink, we can actually make from blue, red, and yellow, is it? We have one black here. We have blue, we have red, and I think it's yellow. I'm not really sure. Black dye, we can make it on the campfire, but it costs twice the resources. Yellow dye, yes. So we don't have yellow, this is brown brown okay so but i think we have some clothes actually in our other base which are full of yellow dye these i took all the dyes out of this one oh actually i didn't so this one still has dye in it this one still has dye in it and this one wow okay actually oh there's another black dye that is amazing default black dyes are the most beautiful of finds there we go modify get that black ink out of there there we go and now we should be able to let me just modify, get that out, modify. There we go, beautiful. And a lot of those inks are actually very easily crafted. So let's put all these away again and leave the two black ones out. And what do we need actually? Let me see. So we need black dye for ink. We can't make ink in here. We can make it in here or in here. So, oh, okay. We definitely want to find a chemistry station. A chemistry station will allow us to actually save resources on all of this, which is very, very important. And they don't stack, which is why does die not stack? That is just really weird. <laughs> okay, so let's just put more die down here. And um, let's see if we can do the chemistry station. What do we need to do the chemistry station? I think it's workbenches. So let me see here, um, it is science crafting, weapon crafting, and tool crafting. Okay, science and weapon. Science is at zero. 
Weapon is at one, so we can get weapon to two. Come on. And then tool crafting is at one. So why don't we get science? T1 crafting unlocks T1 crafting decreases crafting time. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the next couple of points we know where we're going to be spending them. We're going to try to unlock all that nonsense so that we can get the chemistry station, which would be really, really good. So we're slowly getting there. I'm running out of cobblestone now. So I was working throughout the night trying to get this all set up, and it's working really, really well. So in the inside, we haven't even filled it in yet, and um, we need to get it at least three high. So we're gonna do it four high for now and all the way around and that should be enough. We don't even have to fill it in here right now because that's all we need to actually hold up the wall. And theoretically that means we could potentially leave this that high, but I, need, I know I need it higher because the problem is that zombies and even behemoth thigh <laughs> don't actually get in even if it's only this high but the problem is the spider zombies they can actually jump that high so that's one of the biggest problems so if we get up here we can see this is something that a spider zombie can't jump that's too high yeah i mean this is why this is eight blocks high so we have seven blocks beneath us so um then we have the floor there, so they should be compelled more to come up. But this wall here, at least, will be high enough for now without the spider zombies, for normal zombies not to be able to run in. That's absolutely fine. So right now, we can leave it all the way around like that. But we're running out of cobblestone. I have to make more cobblestone rocks. I have to go and uh, back to the workbench in the trader, queue up some more flagstone. Um, I can't make a workbench yet, so the next point I get... I know I said I'm going to go scientist and work and blah, 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 but I think I need to unlock the workbench so i'm gonna have to do these two points next because we need to be able to craft a workbench we have all the resources to do it so if we look at the recipe we have the forged iron we have the mechanical pads and we have wood absolutely fine no problem so i think what we should do is um finish this episode by me gathering a couple of more resources getting the flagstone made and then finishing the wall around we need about another 100 flagstone i would say and then in the next episode what we can do is we can boop, 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 boop. we can then um oh, and do a loot run and focus on getting more resources and points by doing a couple of more fetch quests or zombie quests. And look at this, our tree farm is coming along nicely. Once these are grown, they are giving us the Bruce seeds, which we really, really want because Bruce trees are lovely. They're nice and narrow. They don't, they're not too bushy while they're growing. Not like some of the other trees where you can't see anything through them. So you still can see zombies coming through them. And once they're actually fully grown, they have that nice uh, bare bottom. So you can actually see as well the zombies coming through. Not like these ones, which are way too hairy. We like it bare, not hairy. <laughs> okay, keep getting more dirt. And we need to get a little bit more stone. Okay, then queue up a little bit more cover. Yeah, excellent. Can make loads. So let's queue up loads more. And then queue up our flagstones. Excellent. There should be plenty, definitely. 300 should definitely be enough to go on. Also, we for food, we probably can do something here. We have some peas, and as far as I remember, there is a cooking recipe with peas, but I think we're gonna need a bowl. Just gonna wait for these to finish. We touched on a lot of things actually today. I know in essence all we did today was work on the base, but uh, we did touch on a lot of little things as well. So hopefully you guys had a good time with the episode so far because we are nearly finishing with it. But um, what we can do is we can piece recipe. Yes, we can make cooked pea soup and we just needed some bowls. So I think the clay bowls, here we go. Let's craft them here. That's going to be a minute, and then we're going to be able to make two soups. And I think the soups are going to be better than the actual um, tins, I hope. So we can store a lot of food right now. Our wellness is doing really, really good, or really well. So we can have up to 192 food. I think that applies to the drink as well. I'm not really sure if food and drink kind of bounce off each other from the maximum level, but let's have a little bit more water and see how high it goes up. No, it actually maxes out at 150. So drink goes to 150. And um, I'm just waiting for the second point. Actually, you know what? We're going to put this point already into the advanced engineering class for the crafting system, mining helmet, basic electricity. There's no other way to get a workbench, is there? 
Workbench tool, workbenches. Okay, so this one, oh, look at this. This one actually unlocks the workbench in the table saw already. Which is interesting because this means we get the access earlier to things. That is amazing. That's only one point. So here we go. Now we can make the workbench. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, beautiful. So all we need is a couple of mechanical parts, which we should have loads of it. There we go. And I think one, two, three, four. There we go. And then, excellent. That is brilliant. We can probably queue that up in the actual workbench. So we don't, uh, you know what? We're going to craft it right here because I don't think the soup is something we're going to craft on us. We can make the mechanical workstation as well. That is interesting. So that was brilliant. That is a nice shortcut. I'm a bit confused because the laborer class is supposed to give you a benefit, but I suppose a workbench, everybody's using the workbench. So there is absolutely no um, a reason to close it in behind the laborer class, you know. So I think that makes sense. Um, because it is um, something that everybody uses, no matter what class um, they pick. So let's cook these guys. Beautiful. And now let's see what we're going to get. So now peas were the same as the pears. They were 10, 5, 5 with a 5% chance of um, food poisoning. But let's see what we're going to get from the pea soup. Okay, in this case, it actually is not worth cooking because if you look at the pea soup, you see that it's 10.55 as well. And cooked in food may cost more in terms of resources, but it removes the food poisoning. So there you go, exactly that is, it. That is the difference. So this one here is Pear Can 10.55, but it has 10% 10, 10 food poisoning. A cooked pea soup doesn't have the food poisoning, but gives you the same result. However, seeing that we have vitamins like insane, um, recipe is 40 bites, okay, so we have vitamins and we're currently under the influence of the vitamins We actually don't need to worry about cooking them. So this is only really really good for um, Actually, I'm going to cook them because I'm gonna keep them for later So I will cook them after all but I uh, Will eat the peas right now or the pears right now, which I have here There we go because that's also 10 5 5 is a 5% chance of food poisoning So this is interesting. So basically it is just removing the food poisoning, but we're now maxing out on Oh, look at that. We're actually going over with the food. That is interesting Do we get to the 200? I'm not really sure. Can we? All right, and the maximum food and drink is 50 higher. So 150 was the max, 242 was the max here, which is really, really good. So we have a good buffer now. So let's bring all that stuff back. And um, we're gonna bring the money actually with us. Right now, we're gonna always try to have the money on us because it would be very, very good to go looting with the money on us so that if we come across those machines, we can buy loads of drink and food, you know, as we need it. All right, look at that. So we now have the surroundings done. We still have a lot of cobblestone rock here because we need to upgrade them all as well. The workbench has been done. Now this is not finished, obviously. Like, yeah, this is gonna have to go higher than that to make sure that we have a proper... Well, does it really have to go higher? Yeah, it has to. So anyway, I might change my mind, but for right now, this is the minimum we need. Now, spider zombies can still jump in and they will easily jump in that height. But normal zombies will not be able to get in here. Absolutely not. Even behemothi, whatever you want to call them, they won't be able to get in. And we have no problem actually climbing up here, which is absolutely amazing. That's why I love these structures. So we can go up and down as we please. But um, there is no zombies around here right now. Um, we don't have a claim block down, but I think everything is dead around us. So why don't we spawn a zombie in quickly? There we go. If you want to do it for yourself, you're playing on PC in your own world, just hit F1, type DM, hit enter, that turns the debug menu on and off. And then you just hit F6, and that will spawn a zombie in right where you're pointing. So if I'm pointing here, it will spawn it in here. So what we can do is we hit F6, and we're gonna get a feral, okay? And we're gonna get a basic feral, so we're gonna get a basic feral Joe. What is it actually? A Joe zombie. So let's get a zombie Joe feral. There we go. Bam. Now he is aggressive as balls. Now if you want to stop them from moving, just hit the star key on your keyboard on the numpad and they stop moving. Now we're going back out of debug mode and hit star to continue the zombie movement. Actually, we have to be in debug mode for that. Sorry about that. So we're going to continue them moving, get back out of debug mode. And now we're going to get his attention. There you go. Now, the danger is being down here in this area that they actually will try to hit the wall, but we're trying to see what he's gonna do now. So he basically can't get in. He's gonna try, he's gonna try. Let's see if we can 
make him follow us around. So we're going to just literally walk across here and he should just start coming around the corner or still try actually to come up on that side. Let me see. Yeah, he actually is just standing there. He doesn't know what to do. So we just see if we can lure him around. Yeah, actually. So if we go out, say, hey, dude, come here. There we go. Okay, so let's go up here. We don't even have to jump. We can just casually walk up. He won't be able to get up. And he's a running zombie. He's a feral zombie. So even Behemoth will not be able to get up here, which is really, really brilliant. Ow. I deserve that for spawning him in. <laughs> Bots. Okay. Anyway, so there you go. Test done. Test successful. Beautiful. That is nice. I love it. So this will definitely be a good start for a loot base. And if we get caught out at Horde Night, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's actually going to be absolutely fine, especially for the first Horde Night. I don't know. What are we at currently sitting with um, our game stage? We're only at game stage 22, so we are okay. So we're absolutely fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. This was really, really, really good. I'm really enjoying this. And now what we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to connect those because we want to have a platform on the top as well. But down here, we're now finishing off the ground floor with um, flagstone. That's literally what I'm going to do. I'm going to place all that flagstone here. But actually, let's upgrade these guys here first so that we have... Um, at least a little bit of defense because we're not going to get them to concrete right now but this is really really good and um, let's do that all the way around and then we're going to upgrade also the ones that we're going to place down so we're going to have two floor high make sure that we're absolutely not going to get them digging under us and don't leave hollow spaces so if you leave a hollow space all the way down here they will try to dig in so always bring the floor up above them so that they don't try to start digging in on the site. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming.